The insanity defense is actually not one that is used very often in criminal defense, but there are some occasions when somebody just does not have the mental capacity to be able to commit the crime that they're being charged with. And usually, in my experience, because I have done a number of these cases, they're very serious cases, and the person is looking at either the rest of their life in prison or a very significant amount of time in prison. So if they've committed a very serious crime like that, at least with their body, maybe not with their mind, the prosecutors are usually looking to put them away for as long as they possibly can, and they don't really care about any insanity defense. They don't believe it. So that's where an attorney like me who's been doing this for 25 years comes into play. You got to get involved with a doctor who knows what they're doing and has been involved in insanity defense type cases. And you obviously also have to talk to your client and you really got to get a feel for what the angle is here. What are we going to do to be able to show that the person was not sane at the time this crime occurred? And that is something that very few attorneys actually have the knowledge or the ability to do. So since I have been down that road, I have handled these cases before, I would suggest give me a call, set up a consultation with me. We will go through the specific facts of the case in question. And you will leave my office with an idea of how the insanity uh, defense works and how it specifically applies to the case that you are concerned about.